While it's true that beauty is skin deep, we can't help but admire these insanely handsome husbands. Actor Claire Danes knew she had found the one when she started a romance with English actor Hugh Dancy. In 2017, the Homeland star told Dax Shepard on his Armchair Expert podcast about meeting her future husband after being cast for the 2007 film Evening. Despite having just broken up with a boyfriend and wanting to be single, Danes went back to work on the movie with Dancy and realized, Oh, sh I think I'm gonna marry this person. <laughs> oh, wow. The couple tied the knot in 2009 and have welcomed three children. Danes knows just how handsome her husband is. In 2013, she gushed to Glamour, stating, It's true that you often kind of forget to see the person you're most intimate with, but occasionally I'll come to and sort of think, Oh my god, you're really, really good looking. I'm embarrassed now. It's nice to occasionally have that flash. Despite Danes and Dancy keeping their relationship low-key, they support each other on their projects. In May 2022, the couple attended the New York premiere of Dancy's film Downton Abbey, A New Era. In November, her husband was present for the premiere of Fleischman is in Trouble. Miranda Lambert wasted no time making her relationship with retired NYPD police officer Brendan McLaughlin official. After meeting in November 2018 on the Good Morning America set where McLaughlin worked security, the pair found themselves in a whirlwind romance. Shortly after, the couple secretly wed in January 2019. Three weeks later, the Tin Man songwriter surprised fans with the news, tweeting, In honor of Valentine's Day, I wanted to share some news. I met the love of my life. And we got hitched. My heart is full. Thank you, Brendan McLaughlin, for loving me for me. In January 2023, Lambert shared a sweet post of her and her husband on Instagram, along with a couple of shirtless photos of her man. She wrote, Celebrating four years married today with my main squeeze. Happy anniversary, babe. You are the best. Y'all are welcome for the last two pics. In fact, the singer quite frequently enjoys letting her fans know just how gorgeous her husband is. While promoting her song Way Too Pretty for Prison in August 2019, Lambert shared a video on Instagram of a shirtless McLaughlin working on the lawn. That July, she also posted a short clip of her husband doing laundry without a shirt. It's clear the country singer is smitten with her man. Marvel actor Zoe Saldana didn't believe in love at first sight when she met Italian artist Marco Perego on a flight, but she had a feeling that he was meant to be in her life. Recalling their encounter in 2013, she told USA Today, I just saw him from behind. It was 6.30 in the morning, I was on a flight to New York, and I can't even describe to you, it was a vibration. He turned in that moment because he felt the vibration as well. The pair quickly went from being strangers, to dating, and getting married all in the same year. Perego made their romance even more official by taking his wife's last name. Saldana confirmed this with InStyle in 2015. I tried to talk him out of it. I told him, if you use my last name, you're going to be emasculated by your community of artists, by your Latin community of men, by the world. But Marco looks up at me and says, Ah, Zoe, I don't give a sh**. The Hollywood couple are parents to three boys, twins Sai and Bowie, and son Zen. It's hard not to stare at actor Juliana Margulies and her lawyer husband, Keith Lieberthal. The pair is an attractive couple, and the Good Wife star also knows it. Margulies told Ellen DeGeneres in 2011, Well, it was one of those things. I feel bad because people objectify him and they're like, oh, your husband is hot. The truth is, he is unbelievably bright and smart and went to Harvard Law. When the pair initially met, Margulies told people that Lieberthal had no idea who she was, despite having worked on the popular drama series ER for several years. Six months into dating, she took him to the premiere of her 2006 film Snakes on a Plane. She was hesitant to have him see her act in the comedy because it wasn't anything Oscar-worthy. However, when she witnessed Lieberthal enjoying it, she knew he was meant to be in her life. She told the outlet, At dinner, I was like, wow, if he could sit through that and still see me for who I am, I would marry this guy if he asked me tomorrow. Margulies didn't have to wait long. The two tied the knot in 2007 and welcomed a son named Kieran the following year. 
What did American Idol alum Carrie Underwood think of professional hockey player Mike Fisher when the two first met in 2008? The singer recalled texting hot, hot, hot to her bassist, who had wanted the pair to meet at one of Underwood's concerts. Thankfully, their connection was instant, and they tied the knot in 2010. When the couple welcomed their first child, Isaiah, the Before He Cheats singer told E! News, My husband is as wonderful as he is hot, and I feel like that's rare. He's amazing. He's such a great dad and so supportive of, of me and what I do. In 2019, their family grew to four when Underwood gave birth to the couple's second son, Jacob. In 2020, the couple celebrated their 10th wedding anniversary. Underwood dedicated a sweet Instagram post to her husband, with a photo of the two when they were younger and how they look now. She wrote, Hey, you two crazy kids. Believe it or not, someday you both will become slightly less awkward. You'll grow up to have pretty cool jobs. You'll meet backstage at some girl's concert, fall in love, get married, have two amazing boys, and live happily ever after. Rumors that Rita Ora and Taika Waititi were dating began in April 2021, and they solidified their romance when they appeared together at the Suicide Squad movie premiere that August. Since then, this couple has been ruling red carpet appearances. At the 2021 MTV EMAs, Waititi was seen adorably snapping photos of Rita. And at the Being the Ricardos movie premiere, the couple wore matching sunglasses. Aura and YTT didn't wait long to get married. They held a small and secret wedding ceremony in August 2022, with Aura telling Glamour UK, The wedding was planned in two or three days when I was out of cycle, which is what I call it when I'm not in album cycle. It was either then or we had to wait for ages. YTT, who has directed Marvel hit movies like Thor Ragnarok and Thor Love and Thunder, even directed his wife's music video for the song Praising You. YTT T.T. told The Hollywood Reporter, I love working with her. It's just a good laugh. It's nice being married to and working with someone who's extremely talented. Actor Issa Rae keeps her husband, Louis Diom, out of the spotlight, despite fans wanting to know all they can about him. The two wed in a private ceremony in France in July 2021, and she has continued to keep quiet about their marriage. Speaking on the importance of privacy, she told Self, there's something really nice to have a piece of me that no one knows about or no one can talk about except for the people that are part of my life. Like, can y'all just keep this on the low? I'm not, like, announcing anything. Despite keeping their romance low-key and only sharing a few photos of her husband on Instagram, fans can still see Dion being incredibly supportive of his wife on red carpets. He was present for the premiere of Ray's 2016 HBO comedy series Insecure, and in 2017, the two attended the Essence Black Women in Hollywood Awards, where Ray was honored with a Vanguard Award. Diom also stepped out as a married man at the Critics' Choice Award in 2022. Lance Bass and Michael Turchin have a sweet romance that's made history. The road to their 2014 nuptials was aired on an E! special, Lance Loves Michael, The Lance Bass Wedding, which was the first gay marriage aired on American television. The couple later expanded their family with the addition of twins Alexander and Violet, who were born with the help of a surrogate in October 2021. Bass has since shared numerous photos of his family of four on Instagram, including a first birthday celebration and a Halloween-inspired post. He told Us Weekly that the key to their successful marriage is learning to communicate. Bass explained, It's being on the same page and not waiting too long to let it fester inside you. You just gotta get it out. And especially with kids, you don't have time for that, so you gotta, like, just really be on the same page. As for his husband, Turchin has a few acting credits to his name. Bass and Turchin have also worked together by lending their voices to the Nickelodeon cartoon Bossy Bear, where they play gay dads. Supermodel Christy Turlington had no idea that the man serving her a cup of coffee on the set of a TV show would become her husband. That man was Edward Burns, who was working as a production assistant on Entertainment Tonight before he became a well-known actor and director. Burns recalled their encounter with HuffPost Live. 
She has no memory of it, but of course, as the PA who gets to meet Christy Turlington, I remember it very well. And fortunately for Burns, they met again at a charity event in 2000. The pair hit it off and were engaged six months later. They tied the knot in June 2003, with U2's Bono walking the model down the aisle after her father's death. The couple welcomed two children. Although they've been married for 20 years now, Turlington did not share a celebratory social media post for their anniversary. She did, however, share a sweet shout-out to her husband on his birthday in January. Turlington captioned her Instagram post, Happy birthday to my steady Eddie, the best partner in raising our kids and in navigating this growing older and wiser together that is marriage. Thank you for providing just the right amounts of fun, challenge, patience, and acceptance as we both enter this new phase of our lives. After Margot Robbie's life has been on full display since she started movies like The Wolf of Wall Street, Babylon, and Barbie. However, one thing she has managed to keep out of the spotlight is her marriage to Tom Ackerley. In fact, some people may not have known the star was married at all because it's so low-key. Robbie and Ackerley met on the set of the film Sweet France in 2013, where he was working as an assistant director. Soon enough, the pair struck up a romance and wed in 2016. While dating, they co-founded Lucky Chap Entertainment, which has produced several movies starring the Australian actor, including I, Tanya and the highly successful Barbie film. As for Ackerley, he had a minor background part in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban as a Slytherin student. On The Graham Norton Show, Robbie joked, my husband is in the Harry Potter movies. I know, I was like, had you told me sooner, we would have been married very quickly. Actor Danica McKellar's romance with lawyer Scott Feslovsky played out like one of her many Hallmark Channel movies. The Wonder Years star recalled to Us Weekly about hesitating to get back into the dating game two years after her divorce from her first husband, Mike Verda. However, she decided to get set up on a date with the attorney, and sparks immediately flew. McKellar told the news outlet, I was like, oh my god, this is the person I've been dreaming about my whole life. I could feel his energy and I was blown away. I knew I loved him almost instantly, and we were saying I love you on the fourth date. Sometimes, when you know, you know. McKellar and Sveslovsky wed in 2014, and they both have children from previous marriages. In 2019, she talked to Closer Weekly about their blended family, sharing, We're raising them alongside each other. Watching their friendship develop, they just play and have so much fun. What a blessing. 